the next host of the Olympic Games in less than a year's time. The lawlessness in parts of the UK has become the focus, not surprisingly, of worldwide attention. A number of sporting events have already been cancelled here. Pictures of the unrest dominated television networks around the world. Sky's Ola Shanoe has been investigating the effect that it could have on the UK's image. Now we turn overseas to London, one of the great vacation cities in the world, where tonight parts of that city, some neighborhoods, look like war zones or armed camps or both. It hasn't been Britain's finest hour, and it hasn't escaped the attention of the world. With scenes like these beamed across the globe, the image of London in particular has taken something of a battering. Out of control, rioting spreads, fires blaze, and police finally flood the streets of London. In Europe at the moment, and indeed further afield, uh, there is advice that's being given by embassies for visitors travelling to the UK to exercise caution, obviously to stay away uh, from these areas where there is unrest. We would obviously now work together with government, with authorities, with the agencies to ensure that the correct messages are being sent out overseas. And while things have calmed in the capital, it doesn't help that with less than a year until the London Olympics, one of the host boroughs for the Games, Hackney, has seen its share of the violence. Indeed, this is the area where the world's media will be housed in 2012. And with hundreds of Olympic delegates in the capital this week, they could hardly have expected a welcome like this. It's certainly not good to see images like this piped around the world of London in this sort of state. But actually the action that's been taken today, I'm sure, will rectify this pretty quickly. And actually, there isn't necessarily a link between the low-level criminality we've seen over the last couple of days and the sort of threats that, that generally face an Olympic Games. In Britain, rioting continued to spread from London to other cities. But it's the impact of these images on American audiences that arguably matters most, being among the biggest purchasers of Olympic tickets and one of the biggest sources of revenue. It's too bad, especially in light of the 2012 Olympics. I think that that's going to frighten some people away. I, I think a lot of people have faith in the UK and their law enforcement, and I, I think they know they'll step it up for the Olympics. London's one of those cities like New York, uh, LA, you know, it take a lot more than this just to damage the whole reputation of the city. While there have been some sporting casualties with football matches cancelled, the third test between England and India at Edgbaston did go ahead today. A small but significant reminder that despite the chaos, normal sporting life can continue. There's still not much cause to celebrate in the capital, though. A city hoping to be in the spotlight for the right reasons a year from now, caught in its glare for all the wrong ones. Orla Shinoui, Sky News. Uh, crickets.